Hi, this is Dr. Bob Roush at EnergyDrivenLeader.com, where we work with only the brightest and the best, those leaders who have a desire to develop strong teams and also have that all-important work-life balance. I want to give you three things that I've learned about leadership. I truly believe leaders, real leaders, which we tend to have a shortage of in our country, have this, tr this desire to influence people so that they emulate, those people emulate the courage of the leader. That's part of leadership. And it all begins with, the, with these three and other internal areas that are so very important to us if we're going to impact people. First, get content where you are and who you are. Contentment means possessing the strength, aware that you possess the strength, the gift, that you have enough to get it done. There was a research project done by a psychologist. It was recorded in a book called The Witch Doctor some years ago. And what this psychologist found was that 19 out of 20 great of senior leaders' greatest fear was that they found that people would recognize their inadequacy inside. A lot of energy wasted on all of that stuff. So get settled with who you are and where you are the sec where you are the second thing is if you focus on what you don't have then you'll never have enough we talk about having abundance in our lives but many times people focus on what they don't have and the mind doesn't make the distinction if you focus on what you don't have that's the direction you're going what you don't have and there's always going to be that push I need more I need more of this more personality more money more whatever one of my colleagues, Chris, he's a great salesman, was in Mexico and he came back and said, Doc Bob, here's, I found that these uh, poor Mexican people were happier than people in the United States. They had nothing. But they're, they were appreciative of their own abundance. They were happy for what they did have. And I think when we get that to that place where we are content with what we don't have, then we set those parameters, those goals for what we do have. The third thing is this. Take care of yourself first. You got to do the internal work. You don't fool anybody if you don't do the internal work. People know if you feel confident and you feel adequate in your job. If you want the world around you to have balance, then you have to have internal balance. In other words, until you really know the, the, the gift and the things that you bring to the table and focus on those, you will never be content with working with people or leading people. It's a prerequisite. These and many other things I've found are really important to leadership development. If you like a list of those, just email me at drbob at energydrivenleader.com.